you pursue your happiness. The Tuscarora Mountain Tunnel, still in Pennsylvania. I'm not driving. Steve's driving. Mm -hmm. So we're still in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a very big state. But I just realized this is the fifth year anniversary of our first Mask Fest. We went in 2019, and then there was no Mask Fest because of COVID and all the different reasons that they couldn't have it. So then last year, 2023, Mask Fest, four years later, was our second Mask Fest. And now it's 2024, September 12th, and we're going to our third Mask Fest. Well, there's always something interesting happening. Looks like this truck it's oh look at that burning wow damn oh that is a mess well that's enough excitement for this part of pennsylvania man as soon as we got out of that tunnel these cars these trucks this is going to be backed up from look at that wow that truck that exploded back there this traffic, these people are screwed. When on the road to MaskFest, it's always best to stop at the best establishments like Bob Evans. <laughs> Welcome to Ohio, the heart of it all. We're in Ohio, we're like an hour away from Cincinnati. Steve's cleaning the windshields. We're so close to MaskFest, I can, I can smell the latex. All right. Exit 17B. We are nine minutes away from the Hotel and Convention Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we checked into the hotel, brought our bags up, and right across the street, here's the car, and right across the street is the Sharonville Convention Center. Right in there where we will be going to in about an hour and a half. 11. It's approximately 11 o'clock. We just set up. The booth is done. We're very tired. We're gonna go to the hotel now. It's been a long day, but Mask Fest is gonna be awesome. And the lights in the car just went off. That's a sign to end this clip. <laughs> it is Friday the 13th. It's six o'clock in the morning. Why am I out? because I'm an early riser. It's actually warmer outside than it is in the room. The air conditioning is so strong. I have to go to the car and get my hoodie, drinking my first summers of coffee. Man, we got to the room. I didn't even get in bed till midnight. I lay there for an hour. I was, my adrenaline was so high, I maybe I slept. If I'm lucky, I slept three hours last night. I'll be fine. I'll sleep really good tonight, I hope, but. It's me again, and the sun is out. I am heading over to the Hyatt across the street because I am going to be taking Casey Love's mask painting class, which is something I've always wanted to do. But since he lives in California and I live in New Jersey, it's very difficult because, you know, he's literally on the other side of the country. But now he's holding the first ever mask painting class at MaskFest. So there's no way I could say no. So I'm going to go take it. here with my finger and I can actually aim it as well and it's a subtle effect but if you look at the area that I do right here you'll see how much it actually changes the mask even just the subtle and you can imagine if you went heavy you know, you can see here, there is none. And I turn around, you can already see this spatter. So you can imagine if you go really, really heavy, how, how dangerous this can be, and it can get really out of hand quick. Thank you very much. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Steve, you want to get a 
a picture with us? I make the eyes still separate in there. And same material, same detail, just smaller. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. So you can kind of fit it almost anywhere. You don't have to like have a whole big dedicated space for it. You know? Ooh, David
kept running past it for the winter. They can use it for education. Yeah, yeah. No one can say that. Battery. Battery. No one Yeah. 
Larry, it was clear that was a 50 second election. And the highest was on 50 and 30, so it was lovely. Come on. Very last move, Larry. Ended up getting two tables because he's like, I can't cram everything, everything's too big. Yeah. Um, but you have a lot of like narrow kind of design, you know, yeah. uh, things so that you can kind of fit them more vertically, and especially if you're using the space behind and everything, you know. I always really like doing like green light characters, so that's where that kind of stretch look comes from. Anything that's got that like Dallas and Wonder Man kind of vibe. Yeah. That's like one of the creepiest characters in history. <laughs> yeah. No, I was getting a lot of reactions from people. It's actually the second one he's done. He did another one like a few years ago. Um, and he's really, you know, improved the sculpting since then. Uh, he loves doing those likenesses, so. Listen, you, oh, you're talking to me? You're talking to me? You don't listen, me. you buy that fucking mask or you I'll break your fucking legs. You buy this man. You listen to me, you F word. What are you wasting my you time? You buy this you want, you want that fucking monster yes, mask. You piece of, you, you know what? Listen. You dog do in the corner. Open you your fucking wallet. Give me your cash. You I want, you want that mask. mask. Don't tell me you don't want that fucking mask. Don't make me come down there. I will take you and I will break your legs if you don't buy that fucking mask. It's a monster mask. It's good. It's quality. You buy that fucking mask right now, okay? Now, don't make me come down there. Now that's aggressive. Thank you. Well, it's the last day of uh, Mask Fest and Horror Hound at Sharonville Convention Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And here we are. Let's go do this. You won Best New Vendor of Mask Yeah! I knew it. I told you, I knew it. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for everybody voting. Next year. I want to thank everybody for the voting. I'm tired of the cat. All of the little children. I want to thank the Scurps. I want to thank Gary Cooper. Anyway, thank you. Yay. Thanks for everybody. Yay. Hold it up. Hold it up one more time.
We actually had it like over towels to our room. Well, it's Monday morning. Mask Fest ended yesterday. We just checked out of the hotel. We're gonna get our bags to the car and we're gonna drive back to New Jersey from Cincinnati. Mass Fest was again was it's always it's always fun, it's always great. The main thing is, the thing about Mass Fest, which I love is because some years you listen, sometimes you make some good sales, you make a big profit, sometimes you just barely break even. But it's the people, it's the friendships, it's the people that sometimes I see most of these people just once a year, but as soon as you get together, it's just like you were just hanging out yesterday. It really is like that. It is a community. It's great. Another great thing about Mask Fest is I leave it every year inspired with new ideas and the desire to up my game. And I'm so excited to get home and get back to the workshop and make new things for next year. I have ideas of things I want to do. Can't wait. And I can't wait for a year from now to be back here with everybody with monster masks and fun so we can exhaust ourselves and geek out about the stuff we love. So, I'm about to hit the road. See you all later.